All right, very good evening to all. As just a demo, as IST time, we'll follow IST time, Indian Standard Time. So, need to wait for another couple of minutes as I'm expecting few more participants to join. So, what we'll do is we'll wait for another couple of minutes, like 7, 10, we'll start the demo. All right, so everyone will wake up now. So till then, what we can do is uh, we'll have a small introduction round till others join. So can I have a small introduction from uh, alphabetic order, Anusha? Hello everyone, this is Anusha Pergi. I'm yes. presently working in Gimpact. Yeah, no. I just wanted to learn those courses in order to excel in my career and move forward in Gimpact for some other processes as well. You're presently working in? Genpack. Genpack. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, why is uh, uh, this with the designation? Sorry? With the designation? I joined here as a process associate recently. Next, Payas. Yes, uh, Payas. Hope you can hear my voice. Okay, uh, Sohail. Yes, good evening, everybody. <clears throat> so, I'm Sohail. I was associated with Cognizant till January 2023, and then later I joined. So, your um, voice is not audible much, the volume is too low. One minute, sir. I'm just checking. One minute. Is it fine now? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm Sohail. I was associated with Cognizant till 2023 January as a quality analyst. And then uh, I joined Moritech a company as a quality analyst team lead in February. And since then, I'm working as a team lead, a quality analyst in Moritech. And my... Uh, uh, basic uh, thought process to join Excelitics, especially, I mean, this this course, data analysis course, is that uh, gradually, I mean, at least I've understood how critical it is to, you know, manage and understand the data and give the appropriate uh, presentations, give appropriate numbers and understanding to the management. Therefore, I thought that it's better high time that I, I joined this course through Excelitics. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Soil. And we'll, we'll be up to the mark what you're expecting. So we'll try to learn more new topics and uh, as per your requirement, we can work out. Uh, next, I can see Dharani. Can I have a small introduction of you? And I can see one more name, uh, full name, I can't be seen, P-A. Okay, at, at least you can uh, rename your, uh, with your full name there, instead of P-A. Okay, Prashant. All right. So, Anusha Dharani has moved. Okay, maybe some she's trying to log in once again. All right, Fayaz, hope you are uh, done with your mic issue. Okay, can I have a small introduction offline? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm doing my BBA. I'm in my third year. From which college? Geetam, Hyderabad. Geetam, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm doing business analytics. Okay. So this is your second. What's year, which year? Third year. Third year. Oh, great. Great to see you. A business analysis already you are working on. Sir, present. Okay. Senior executive. Okay. Good. Good. Good to see all. So I can see only few. All right. No problem. We'll start the session. I don't want to waste much time with all uh, other joinees. So let us continue with the introduction part. Before that, let me share my screen. Hope my screen is visible to all. Yes. All right. So, so let me introduce myself also. Myself, Mohammad Tadeev, working as an IT faculty as well as director to team Excelethics Private Limited. Uh, I have 90 plus years of experience as a mass office trainer and also I'm a Microsoft certified trainer, certified by Microsoft, Microsoft Office specialist as well as Microsoft Excel expert with different versions. All right. So in this 19 years of experience, I got an opportunity to day-to-day -day activity uh, from, from last 19 years, I'm, I'm working as a trainer itself. And uh, apart from this, I'm a corporate trainer where I've imparted classes for most of the corporate clients. So 19 years means I have, I hope you can understand, like I have imparted hundreds of clients uh, as a corporate trainer, right? So, and also nothing but uh, while imparting classes for corporates, I got an opportunity to impart classes for government sectors also. So let me show you all the clients so these are only the sample clients where I've collected. Apart from this, I have a couple of like this, other different sheet. So these are my clients where I've imparted classes, mostly on advanced section, right? So these are some of the recent ones. Uh, so old one I've not kept here. So these are the recent ones where I've imparted classes. So out of which you can see one of the biggest one is your Aditya Birla, KPMG. So hope you are aware of this KPMG. It's not, it's like same, uh, like that, but Delight. So competitor to Delight. The next uh, one of our already colleagues are also working like Genpact, right? Data Group. Got an opportunity in part financial organization like Bank of America, DCB Bank. Fed Bank, right? The next uh, pharma organization like Bio, Biocon, GVK Bio, New Land, the next Sanofi. These are some uh, some of the financial uh, network pharma organization. The next got an opportunity to impart uh, recently to NMIMS University. It's also one of the university, topmost university. Presently in Hyderabad, we can't see much deep, but uh, when you go with the north, the north side, it comes under one of the top three top three universities, one of the top universities listed one. All right. So got an opportunity in part uh, college students as well as staff also, so like BBA, MBA, college students, as well as staff. Now, so recently got an opportunity in part this one also, PTM and uh, Asian Pates. Right. These are my organization where I've imparted. Apart from this, I got an opportunity in part uh, for government sectors also. So government sectors, I hope you are already aware of group one, group two, group four services, and then civil services. Got an opportunity in part all sectors in government sectors, all department, all levels also, group one, group two, group four. Even for civil service also, I've got an opportunity in part classes on MS office. The next, uh, uh, like civil service, uh, civil service also got an opportunity. So this is one of the government sector department like water and land management or called as voluntary. The next uh, NTPC, the next police department, uh, the next custom department. Right, police as well as custom department. The next prison department, Chanchal Guda Jail and all. So they got, I got an opportunity part for them also. 
and uh, one of my biggest uh, achievement of my career when i'm imparting my classes got an opportunity to impart classes for is level officers is level officers uh, in the year 2016 from 13 different states so that that is one of my biggest achievement of my career so let me share you that so here is i just i will take another couple of minutes and we'll start the demo part so this is a session where I imparted classes for IAS level officers from 13 different states. Not precious, they are in-service IAS officers from 13 different states. On that day, the session was also an excellent session for them. You can see all our IAS officers. In government sector, one of the biggest posts itself is an IAS, one of the toppest posts. Right, got an opportunity to impart for them, and not only that, on the year to the year 2016, these are the in service IS officers. Got an opportunity for freshers also for like 2020 batch IS officers, 2021 IS officers, recently 22, 2022 IS officers who have been deputed to Telangana State. So, got an opportunity to impart for them also. Recently, like that, 2022 cadre deputed to Telangana IS officers. Around six IS officers have been deputed with various positions, right? So, got an opportunity to impart them on excellence, right? Every year, I'll be getting an opportunity to impart, not only for IS officers. I regularly conduct from last 10 years, I'm regularly conducting classes for civil service officers, uh, apart from IS, IPS, IES, IRS, and all. So, those who have cracked, uh, that were there in UPSC, there are, there are pressure candidates. These are all pressure candidates. Those who have cracked their uh, UPS. Right. So, not only this uh, financial organization, you can see other different organizations like Bajaj have got an opportunity. IZAD is one of the pharma organization, Ajmera Group. So, it's a real uh, real estate uh, organization, uh, one of the biggest organizations in Mumbai. So, where I have imparted classes physically there. The next got an opportunity for other different clients also like the Fed Bank. Recently, last four months back. photo with them so this is fine with my experience i can see uh, i can show you all like physical like but uh private sectors got an opportunity for private sectors as well as government sectors right so now let me take you through the demo part of our class uh advanced excel right so let me take you through the topic for today so based on my experience from 19 years of experience, whenever I go for a corporate trainings, there I have seen that but they, they will be calling for an advanced Excel trading requirement. When I'm so one, two days, three days requirement should be there. Like that but when I'm imparting classes for an advanced Excel, they are not familiar with the basics. So when I use in, in advanced classes, also when they use any basic requirements, any terminology of the basic Excel, they are not aware of the basic cells. Like, so today what I have planned is we'll try with the basic terminologies today so that uh, we'll get to know at, where, at what level we are in, right? So that uh, we can uh, we can try it out for advanced Excel, what topics need to be learned and all, right? For that, let me take you through one example today. So I have planned for today's demo is one example that is formatting, right? So let us go to this. I have taken one example. This is as per the title, this is called as your formatting. So formatting, this is called as your unformatted structure data. 
I can tell this is an employee details. That's fine. That is later. Now the main important that as per the title, as per the file name formatting, I want to do formatting. So here I can call it as this is called as your unformatted structured data. Right. Similarly, if I go to another sheet where you can see this, we can call it as formatted data. The end of the day, I my report should be in this particular way. All right. So now let me go with one query here. In which scenario will come across these type of unformatted structured data? In which scenario we, you came across this type of unformatted structured data? Sir, many times when we have any dump or when we have any archive data, so we just get unformatted data there. So we have to format and do pivots and all that after that. Yeah. Unformatted scenario, one of the example. If, for example, if I go and check weekly, I mean, the audits which we perform, so that data will be in unformatted. Uh, yeah, okay. It, it won't have any right. header, anything. So that oh, is right. just raw dump. Yeah. All right. Let me take you through. Right. You are uh, absolutely right. So now let me take you through one scenario, similar kind of scenario. So now, uh, whenever we want any report, nowadays we are going with an online platform. So end of the day, whatever reports you want, we can see the online platform itself, but to make it a meaningful and all, we'll, we'll convert that particular data into Excel and download. That but we have an option in called as download. We'll just download it and then do some basic stuff, make our data more effective and show to the concerned client or in an internal meeting we'll be doing. Right, that is one scenario. And second scenario, like nothing but when you're copying data from one sheet to another sheet, copy paste from one sheet to another sheet, will come across these type of unformatted structured data. Another example, like copy paste from one sheet to another sheet or one file to another file. One file to another file, one sheet to another sheet. And online platform. So whatever like audit, whatever uh, Sohel had told, that's absolutely fine. The same when you want to do any auditing, instead of going with an online report, we'll download it and then try to work out. So we'll come across these type of unformatted structure. Now, let me go with one situation scenario. Like nothing but my higher official, he needs to attend another urgent meeting. Right? He simply called me and uh, that's what he told me that uh, some XYZ report is in online we have. Please download that particular file and send it me as early as possible. Within five minutes, I will be reaching to the client location or the online meeting I'll be attending. Please send this particular report to my mail ID or WhatsApp or whatever. So that but I have downloaded this particular file. So I came across like this. Can I send the same file to my senior official when he is attending a meeting? Can I send same as it is? Obviously, no. Right. I need to do basic stuff and then I can send it. Right. So I need to send totally in this particular format. Right. So what what are the stuff? What what stuff I can do in this? What are the steps I can do in this? For formatting related. Header photo. Header part. So header part, first of all, before going to header part, you can see my column adjustments. I need yeah. to do first of all column adjustments. So for column adjustment, if I'm not familiar with the basics of column adjustment, we'll be doing in this particular way, adjusting manually, or we'll be just going with a double click so that column width based on the content, column width will be adjusted. Right. As of now, as part of my demonstration, I have taken around seven different columns, but practically we won't be having this seven columns. We will be having more than seven. Let's take an example. We might have 40 columns, 50 columns, or 100 columns. Right? That's fine. Let's take an example. I have 40 columns with me as, a, as an example. So 40 columns means I need to do 40 times double click. Right? So it's a waste of time. That's what I can do it, but it takes some time to complete that task. So what we can do is we can directly use one shortcut method. Within seconds, we can work up because we need to send it urgently. So what we can do, we can directly go here in between one and A. In between one and A, you can see a rectangle box. 
just click on that so that you can see entire sheet has been selected entire sheet has been selected so what i can do in between any one of the columns just double click on it so that you can see within one go you can see all 40 columns 100 columns 1000 columns are there within one go you can adjust the column width based on the content that's fine now one right so now i can go with the uh, the sohail what he has told like nothing but title part so title nothing but you can see uh title as well as my data look like same so i need to do something different it should like it it should look like a title so what i am doing is i'm directly selecting first cell so instead of using my mouse pointer if i'm using my laptop with the help of a mouse pad i can't select 40 columns from starting to end so here what i need to do i need to go with a shortcut command so first cell control shift right arrow once you can see it will select the last cell, right? That's fine. So to make nothing but for title, what we can do, one of the main point we can use is nothing but thickness, thickness of your data so that it looks different from our the regular data. For thickness, what we'll do, we'll go with a regular universal shortcut key. What's that? We'll use one universal shortcut key that is for thickness. Mm -hmm. Bold. Control B is the regular shortcut key what we'll use. Now, today what we'll do is we'll try to work out some alternate shortcut key out. So, everyone knows about Control B. So, now what we'll do is we'll try some alternate shortcut command. So, alternate shortcut commands like Control 2 we can use for bold, for thickness. Control 2 instead of Control B. Right. Similar shortcut key, we can uh, we can work out like control 3, italic, control 4, underline, 2, 3, 4, 2 for bold, 3 for, uh, 3 for italic, 4 for underline. And one more point, let me take you through one example. So I have, nothing but, uh, nothing but for demonstration, I have came across, so 12 participant need will be selecting. I have a checklist. Like that, but um, a front office team has given me a list of employees. That's what students, those who are joining for today's demo, right? So I'm just cross-checking the names. So one of the person is she has not attended the training. So as a checklist, I want to check it out. So if, if I have a printout, I will just uh, mark as absent, cross mark, like that will be for understanding purpose, we'll do. Suppose if I'm working with Excel directly on soft copy, so what I can do, I can just go with control five, that is strike through. So he is, she has not attended. So he is not attending the session today. He has not, he, these three uh, candidates have not attended. So like this, you can go with a uh, checklist also we can use. Or regular cases, these particular persons have left the organization or any other stuff we can understand. All right, so this is fine. Now, let me take you through one more. So, 2, 3, 4, 5 we have seen. Don't try 6, 7, 8, 9. We don't have any shortcut key as of now. 7, 8, don't try. So, we have some other shortcut keys that will come across later. Right. Now, uh, what stuff, other stuff I can do? Hmm? Wrap text not required here as of now. So, as of now, not required. Okay, if you want, you can work out that also wrap text for this one. So that is employee code. So this much space is wasting. So what I can do, I can just increase, decrease the column width and I can just select this particular cell and use wrap text option like this. That's fine. We can edit cells. Search. So no, we can edit the cell. Editing of cell, why? Not required because already it's a report. No need to edit here. I need to send same as it is point to my concerns person. Higher official. He is attending the meeting. So what other stuff I can do? Anusha, Prashant. That, that's that's no, not an issue. Yeah, Prashant, Sohel. But yes, you can text also, not an issue if you, are, if you have any issues with your mic. 
Any other stuff? Any other stuff I can do in this? Yes, sir. You may change colors as well, or you may colors. Okay. Anyway, we have already done with this, but no problem. We can try it out some color combination. Okay. Next. Designation. Designation. What happened to that? It's fine only. Not required. Just senior official. What he has told. Actually, is attending a meeting. Just download that particular report and send to me. That's it. No need to do reporting related. Just I need, I can't send unformatted structured data. So we are doing some basic formatting. So here the concept is formatting, no reporting. But I think we can set this in alphabet order. If... No, not required. Not either. As of now, not required. But later, if you want, we can go with the report related concept, then we can. Uh, but yeah. as of now, not think, required. Right. I think we can work on outlining. Uh, just outlines to... right outline border applying borders to this proper table yes outlines we can apply so for that what we what we need to do we need to select any one of the cell within the data and then go for what shortcut key we'll be using here to select the entire data select entire data was the shortcut universal shortcut key control a i think do you think still? <laughs> so control A is the shortcut key where you can see it select the entire data. Right. But what happened in the regular case is my uh, mouse point and that my selection may come outside of my data. When I try with control A, you can see it has selected entire sheet. I don't want to select the entire sheet. I want to select only the data part to apply borders, outlines. So what you can do, just select any one of the cell and then go for control A so that only data part have been selected. That's fine. Now, now what we'll do is, uh, let's try some alternate shortcut key. So alternate shortcut key apart from control A. Everyone uses control A, that's fine. So today we'll try to learn some new, new things. All right, so control apart from control A, can we, to selection, can, can we select the entire data without control E? Do we have any shortcut command apart from control E? Any guesses? So we can select with the help of mouse business, but if I'm working with mouse pad, so I in, in regular cases, I may have thousands of records. So thousands of records with the help of mouse pad, I can't select. And that too, waste of time also. Time wasting because a sir is in, in a meeting. So I need to send it urgently. Right. So uh, with the help of mouse point, thousands of record, I can't. Yes. Adusha, from your end. I think this is your regular day-to-day -day activity only. Really. Uh, yes. Control, shift and the arrows. Control? Shift plus the arrow. Arrow marks which we have on the keyboard. Control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow. That's fine. Nothing but how many keys you have used? Two shortcut keys you have used. Whereas control A if I use only with two keys, I can work out. Control shift right arrow, three keys. Control shift down arrow, three keys. Six keys you are using instead of two keys. It's a lengthy step. And you can see I have came till down. And now I want to go to top with the selection. How can I can go? So I can't use this scroll button. As of now, only 75 records are there. I can easily go top. If I am working with 10,000 records, so the number of the records are increasing, short, but the, the scroll button also will be thinner. Right? So we can't scroll like this easily when you have thousands of records. Any other stuff? So here you can see, let me go into one, one shortcut key here. 
control, select any one of the cell within the data and then go for control shift space bar. Control shift space bar. But though nothing but I am using three keys here, where control A is the best one. Control shift space bar, three keys I am using. So this one alternate one. Another one, I want to go with only two keys. So what you can do, control asterisk, control star mark. You can see, like control A, we have a shortcut key, control star, nothing but control asterisk. Right. So, is it working? Trying alternatively with dummy data from your end. Uh, sir, sorry. I can join through iPad, but uh, going forward, I use laptop. Okay. Sure. All right. So, let's see one more. Uh, nothing but here. Uh, let's work out like this. Uh, control A also with works and control asterisk. We have seen another one. So what is the difference between these two? Which one I can use most, right? So control A is the most frequently used one. Now let me show you one, one drawback of using control A. Suppose my selection, my mouse pointer selection is outside of my den. When I go with control A, it selects the entire sheet apart from data. Whereas my selection outside of my data and try to use control aspect, you can see it won't select any data. That's the plus point of using this control asterisk. It should have surrounding data. Then only it selects the content part. Only content part it will select. If we have empty cell, it won't select any big parts. Surrounding data should be there. Then only it will select. Right, that's fine. Now that uh, I want to apply borders for this. So what we can do, we can directly go to this home tab and then apply borders all borders do we have any shortcut key to apply borders yes. control plus plus and control shift and what it does it will apply borders only outline part here you can see for it will apply only borders part like this but I want inner borders also, inner lines also. Any soil, Anusha? Control shift underscore what it does, it will remove the borders. Suppose if I have a borders like this, and if you want to remove that, control shift underscore works. It is for removing. I want applying. So applying for applying borders, basically we don't have any control related shortcuts. We need to use some alt related combination hotkeys. So hotkeys, most uh, most regularly used one is hotkeys in the corporate level. So when, but when I use Alt, you can see on top some options have been activated. I want to go to Home tab, so I can use H. Home tab. Within Home tab, these are the options. In this particular option, what option I want to do? Apply borders. So B, B. Within B, borders. You can see list of border styles are there. I want to go with all borders. A. That's. Right. So you need to just combine all four, like Alt, H, B, N, no borders. Alt, H, B, A for all borders. Combine all, it will create a shortcut key if you are using it regular cases. So like this, if you want to use Alt related combination or all, we can use up to more than 400 shortcut keys. So no need to remember all keys. Just in our regular day-to-day -day -day activity, whatever art-related combination which you are using can be remembered. So not all. Right. Next. So this is fine. 
Now, can I send this particular file to my concerned officer? Almost formatting is done. Or do any changes are there still? Sir, I think alignment we can we can do. Which one? Alignment. Alignment almost fine. Not an issue. I can send so that uh, report is visible. No need alignment. For alignment part also left side is fine, right? No yes, yes. Alignment. Correct. Now can I send this particular file? Nothing else we can. Still, we have we have we have some more options to do with this. What other stuff I can do? Yes, Fine name, I think. Sheet not name. required. Not required. Just for formality, I have taken the file name as for formatting, but it will be with uh, the same name. Not an issue. For content related, I am asking. Formatting part. I think date of joining date we have yes. to. Yes, that's the reason I have selected this so that you can identify this date of joining DOJ date of joining because of copy pasting from one sheet to another sheet. End of the day, the dates are numbers only. So while copy pasting, you can see it has converted into number. And another scenario like even when I'm exporting from online also, I may come across with this particular number. Right. So what we can do is so what we can do in this is that what I want to convert this particular date of joining this number to date format. So how we can do in date format. So how we can do this. So first of all, before converting it to date, uh, let me just increase the column width so that it should not uh, should not create problem for me. So I'm directly increasing the column width. That's fine. Now what we can do in this as a so I need to select the column to offer to convert it, this number to date format. So what I have seen with most of the participants is we'll be directly going in this particular way to select the data, that particular column. Most of the time. But here you can see if I just scroll down as part of my demonstration, I have taken only 74 records, but unnecessary. How many records here I'm selecting? We have to 10 lakhs record unnecessary. I'm selecting this particular space. No need to select this. I want to select only this 75 records. So how we can do only to select 75 records, how we can select. Shall I select like this manually? Or do we have any shortcut command? Yes, online. So control just shift down arrow. Control shift down arrow. Control shift down when I press, you can see it will go to the last till where you have records. That's fine. It's a valid point. Now, let me take you through this. So, selection is fine. I want to convert it to date format. So, obviously, I can convert it to date format. So, that when as a human tendency, regular cases, what we'll do is, whatever changes you are doing, you want to see from starting, not from the bottom. I want to see the result from top. So, my selection is that presently my active selection is up to bottom. Now, I want to go to top with the selection. How I can go? How I can go to top with the selection? What my query? So from top to bottom, I have came. Now, what are changes you are doing? What to see from first cell? So if I do, if I convert it to date format, let's let me convert it to date format. You can see it is showing like this starting cell, right? So similar kind, I want to see from top only, not from bottom. Right. So let, let me take you through. Here we can go in two different methods. One is, uh, instead of going two different methods, let directly let us go with the recommended one. So we can go with control backspace. Straight away, we can go to top. Straight away, we can go to top. 
with the selection. And if you want to convert to date format, straight away on screen, we can go to this, click on short date so that you can see the date format. That's fine. Another one, what I can do here, this one, basic salary column. So basic salary as it's an employee details, I want to show salary in rupees, like with the rupee symbols or at least a decimal value. So like 18,547. So I want 18,547. As a comma separator, I want. So for that, let me increase the column width where I can utilize some decimal points also. The same stuff what I can I can do is control shift down, control backspace to top. Right. I want to apply like but comma style to this. So how we can do? I can straight away use this particular option on screen. This option. Comma style. Just click on it. You can see automatically comma style has been applied. Or else you can use control shift to one comma style. Now I can tell almost all stuff I have done. Now straight I can send this particular file to my concern office. Right, so formatting stuff had been done. It was that bit compared to the previous one, and this one looks lots of difference we have done to the our regular data. So now he sir can easily show to the client or internal meeting, online meeting, whatever he has, he can show the content. Right. So this is about your network requirement, basic formatting, basic stuff. Hope we have learned some new tips here in this particular session. Yes, yes, sir. All right. So now let me take you through the concept. What we are nothing but in our regular coming classes, what we'll be learning. Right. So advanced Excel, advanced Excel. What is this advanced Excel? In what topics we'll be covering in the advanced Excel? So now let me take you through this. So basically what we have planned is, as we have just now in the demo itself, we have seen the basic concept. So what we have planned initially is, uh, even though the title shows as advanced Excel, first couple of days, two to three days, what we'll do is we'll, uh, as per our schedule, we'll be discussing the basic concept so that everyone will be in one level to understand the concept of advanced Excel. So directly, instead of going directly on advanced Excel, first couple of days, hardly three, two to three days or max to max four days, we'll be covering with the basics. So first we'll go with the introduction of Excel. What is Excel? What are the terminologies used in Excel? What are the extensions, extensions the next interface of Excel? Then next we'll discuss about the basic concept like cut to copy, paste, paste special, right? What are number formatting used in Excel? Right, for the group, the next alignment part, data types, right? What are the data types we'll be using, right? When you're, when you're entering our data. The next we'll be discussing about this conditional formatting formatting of a table, the next cell styles, the next fill options, clearing options, find and replace, right? Then next, after three or four days of basic Excel, we'll come to advance. So in advance also, the main important concept in advance is working with formulas, right? In this particular Excel, advanced Excel, we'll be almost we'll be working with more than 100 of formulas, more than 100 formulas in our regular training part. So first we'll go with formulas. First we'll understand about the introduction part formulas. What is formula? So formula is that, but how to start with the formula? What are the terminologies used when you're writing a formula, right? So what are optional and mandatory argument? How many ways of input your formulas? Mathematical operators, comparison operators, the next cell reference, text functions, date functions, logical functions, Mathematical functions, statistical functions. All right. So statistical functions, information functions, lookup functions, right? So different functions. So function lookup functions, you can see we look up, match, we look at you look up, index match, indirect, rows, columns, transpose, different formulas we will be working in this, right? So latest version related H, X lookup also will be working as an added this one. Then next we'll be discussing about report designing techniques like illustration, picture, how to insert pictures, 
how to work out with your icons, shapes, 3D shapes, smart art graphics, spark lines, the next filter option, slices, right? Newly used one, uh, newly implemented one, timelines, the next insert option, hyperlink, text box, high header and footer, calculation options, the next data management techniques. In that data management technique, connecting with external data, external and uh, uh, that external applications like other different application data can be opened in Excel. How we can connect, how, how we can connect with an internet related content, sorting, filtering, sorting, manual sorting, multi-level sorting, right? So filter by color, filter by number, filter by text, advanced filter, right? The difference between normal filter and advanced filter, data tools, flash fill, split data into multiple columns, right? Consolidate data, the next find needs, that's what formula execution techniques, define needs, formula auditing, data validation, forecasting, outline, right? Data protection technique. At last, we'll discuss about data analysis and visualization, where we can see pivot table, pivot charts, related concepts. The last part, nothing but the charts and dashboards. This is the last topic which we'll be covering. And then after completion of this particular dashboard, till dashboard, We'll be having one more session called as creating dashboard using real time data. Right. Then this is one of the last session of our advances. Right. So these are the topics we'll be working as per our experience. We have designed all this. So we'll be working all these particular concepts. So in the advanced Excel, hope you got an idea about what is advanced Excel, what we'll be learning in this particular uh one month that but to, to complete the entire stuff will take one month period one month so one month means entire uh that but working day wise will be working monday to friday monday to friday so as part of this demo we have planned like evening hours 7 pm to 8 pm so monday to friday uh that but monday to friday means five days five five into four weeks. So it will be completed within 20 days, plus or minus we can add up to 22 or 24 days. So minimum to complete is 20, maximum we can complete in between this, plus or minus, depend upon queries and going with different exercises and all, it might be extended, but maximum time will be covering up to 20, minimum 20 days will be covering the, all the topics which we have shown. Right, any queries? You are welcome to ask. <clears throat> Sir, just one question. Yeah. Will we also study uh, dashboards? How we can create dashboards? Yeah, how we can create a dashboard, I have shown now. In the last data, it's all the topic itself creating dashboard using real time data. Okay, okay. So, okay. Basic stuff, first we'll, in our regular class, we'll be seeing manually, that's what creating of a dashboard. Later, we'll see what real-time that all. Sure. Any other query? Anusha from your end, Prashad, Payas, online, offline? Chess course. We are early to chess course. 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, we depend on work, but we are going to chess course. And uh, we'll be available till 9 o'clock. So we have okay. another batch eight to nine. So nine o'clock till nine, you can do practice also. Then, then Class will be from seven to eight, one hour daily. Monday to Friday. Saturday, Sunday is off. Right. If you have any queries, further query related or uh, the payment already of front office have already discussed, hope it, she has discussed. And if you want more clarity on the uh, timings or any training related concept, you can contact to this particular number. Right. So we basically we are from, we have four, uh, three different centers. One is at Chikarpalli, Amirpet and Kukarpalli Housing Board. So present this particular session conducted is at Chikarpalli Center. All right. So available timing 7 to 8 p.m. So shortly we'll be starting. Hope uh, if all goes fine. 
So if I, uh, based on our required number participants joining, we'll be starting from tomorrow itself, or else we need to take another couple of days to gather all the students. Right, so our front office team will be informing you when we'll start the session. So tomorrow or one or two days gap. Shortly it will be communicated. Right, so thank you then. Thank you all. Good night. Thank you, sir.